Office for iPad is one of the most requested apps we hear about at gotobemobile.com. There are many alternatives, but there are compromises with every alternative. CloudOn is a service that's trying to get past many of these compromises. We're going to take a look at the service to see how it handles Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files. You're not going to get the same experience you would in a native Windows or Mac Office app, but it's better in some ways than the iOS alternatives. First off, you connect to Dropbox or Box.net to get your files. This can be a security hurdle for corporate users, but if that doesn't stop you, there are some things that are nice. We're going to open up Dropbox, and here I'm going to open something that I composed on my computer. The great thing about CloudOn is you can track changes. This is a very often requested feature, and with it, you can now see the changes that users make to a document. You can add comments, you can insert images, we can move images around by a long hold and move. The One of the biggest issues, as you see when we scroll, the text just goes bonkers. That's not just the video, that happens on the actual iPad while you're using it. Uh, it can make working in a document somewhat of a pain, but if you need the ability to track changes and other items like the familiar interface along the top where you can select styles and use Word much like you would on your computer, it's a valid solution. I wouldn't suggest that a corporation quickly jump over to this because there are still some issues, but if you need to use Word on your iPad and you're not ready to pay 10 bucks for pages, this might be a good solution to check out, especially since it's completely free. When you're done, one of the nice things is the changes go right over to Word on your actual computer. Uh, that happens with Dropbox, so it just takes a few seconds to sync your changes across. One of the biggest drawbacks that I found with Word in CloudOn is that you actually can't bring text, say, from a web page or from another document that you've opened outside of CloudOn and paste it in. It just doesn't recognize that you have any text. Um, it's, it's quite troublesome because a lot of times I want to start documents or bring in part of something else. So I can pull up a familiar looking menu that you see here where I can change stuff just like I would if I had a mouse but paste is completely blanked out even though I've highlighted something outside of the service. When you switch documents it will automatically save your progress and that will go to your computer, to your Dropbox or Box.net pretty fast. You can create new documents on the fly. You can create an Excel document. And pretty quickly we'll be in here and we can start working. One nice thing, you do get this extra row of items, uh, F1, your F keys, Control, Alt, Shift, Tab, that aren't traditionally on your keys. So here we can enter some information and we can head up here and we should be able to adjust some different things. If we go over to data, we have familiar options. You can do sorting, filtering, there's formulas so we can auto sum just like you would on the computer. And so you get a pretty rich environment. It's still The iPad's still not going to be my preferred way to interact with Excel documents, but CloudOn does offer some interesting ways to access data in Excel or PowerPoint. One of the nice things in Excel compared to Word, you don't have that same odd blurry scrolling. The one thing I would like is if this top bar just doesn't look like it's properly sized. Things look blurry or pixelated. Um, won't interfere with your regular usage, but it'd be nice if everything just looked like it belonged.
head over to gottabemobile.com, take a closer look at CloudOn and some of the limitations that it has.